And now it's time for another check on our first morning weather. It's going to be nice temperatures today, a little breezy, right? Yeah, it's a little bit above normal temperature wise. The average high for this time of year is in the mid 70s. We're mm -hmm. going to be about eight, nine degrees warmer than that. But with the breeze, I think it's going to feel pretty comfortable. WDSU first warning radar actually picking up on a couple of showers, sprinkles really. But they're coming ashore and may affect Plaquemines Parish. I mentioned Grand Isle. You could see a little passing sprinkle. If you see a shower today, you're going to be one of the very few because our chance for rain is officially less than 10 percent. 81 degrees officially right now at Louis Armstrong International Airport with partly cloudy skies. There's that southeasterly wind at 13 miles per hour. We're going to see the winds at about 10 to 15 today, maybe gusting a little bit higher than that. All right, let's go to the tropics, the Caribbean specifically. We have an area of cloudiness that's probably becoming a tropical depression and it looks like it's probably drifting toward the United States, but I'm not overly concerned about it and I'll show you why here in just a minute. Very small chance for development with this system and there are actually a few computer models that take this cloudiness and kind of merge it with this area of cloudiness in the Caribbean sometime Monday or Tuesday. This is generally heading our way. 90% chance for development over the next seven days, according to the Hurricane Center. They have Hurricane Hunter aircraft out there taking a look at it. The computer models, yes, take it in our general direction, but here's why I'm not too worried about it. First of all, the waters in the Gulf of Mexico, they're pretty cool. They're actually under 80 degrees in some spots. That's a very good thing. These waters are much cooler than they were about seven, eight weeks ago. So that's one strike against this system. Another one, very dry air in place right now. The mid and upper levels in the Gulf of Mexico as well as the Caribbean. Again, that's another good thing. Also, some pretty strong upper level wind shear expected to be in place in the Gulf of Mexico. So I think worst case scenario, whatever this is, let's just call it a tropical depression because I think by late tonight it will be a tropical depression. It may get close to us sometime late in the week, might increase our chance for rain. Honestly, right now, I think that's about as strong as it would get. Today, your high temperature should make it to the mid 80s. We're picking up on one or two showers, but as I said, our chance for rain officially less than 10%. Tomorrow, we'll start a few degrees warmer. The afternoon, looking very nice, should be in the mid 80s. A 20% chance for a few showers once we get to two, three o'clock or so, but those showers should be pretty light. Also could see a few showers on election day too. Mostly sunny, it's already breezy, but it's gonna become a bit more breezy by the later morning and afternoon. Winds at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. And as I mentioned, that coastal flood advisory in effect and high tide is gonna be coming tonight in most locations, mostly clear. Still breezy for us tonight, so with that breeze, I don't think fog is anything we need to worry about for your Monday morning commute. Mostly sunny and again breezy tomorrow with just a few isolated showers. Keep the chance for rain at about 30% on Election Day, but again, that's not going to keep anybody from voting. Breezy again Thursday and Friday with, uh, again, a 30% chance for showers. Most of those should be on the lighter side. That's your WDSU first warning forecast.